Hello friends, today in this video we are going to learn about globe and major latitudes and longitudes. Globe is a true model of earth and it was made by Martin Behem which was a German geographer. So here a question arises that who made the globe? So it was Martin Behem and it is very important that it is he was a German geographer. Now globe can be of big size also and of small size also. Globe is not fixed. It can rotate in the same way as the top spin. Head top spin means as same as just say as same as like Lattu Gumta. On globe you can see countries, continents and oceans in their correct size. So this is a picture of globe. As you can see and here if you will see carefully so you can see countries continents and oceans globe is fixed through a needle that is in a tilted manner which is its axis so as you can see here this globe is fixed with a needle now this needle is its axis now a globe as you all know that globe is a true model of earth so our earth is tilted at 23 and a half degree so globe is also tilted globe is also manufactured in a tilted manner the reason behind is that our earth is also tilted at 23 and a half degree so as you all know that globe is a true model of earth so it is also tilted Two end of its axis are called poles. Means the two end points of its axis are poles. So the northern one is called north pole and the southern one is called south pole. These two points are the fixed point on earth's surface. So this is how a globe spins. Now there, there are set of imaginary circular lines drawn horizontally between the poles and parallel to the equator. This means that latitudes are imaginary circular lines which are drawn horizontally between the two poles. As I told you that poles are the end points of earth's axis. So they are drawn horizontally. They are drawn horizontally and they are imaginary lines that are not drawn on earth. We have just imagined them so that we can locate a particular place. Now earth is divided into two parts by an imaginary line which is called equator. So there is an imaginary line latitude which is called equator. And equator divides earth into two equal par halves. As you can see here also, this is equator. Equator is situated at zero degree. And through this, earth is divided into two parts. Means this equator divides earth into two equal halves. Now there is a river, Congo River which originates from Democratic Republic of Congo and this river crosses the equator twice. Total number of latitude lines are 179 and latitude is 181. Now here is a question for you that why are latitude lines 179 and latitude 81? So the reason here is that latitude are 90 in northern hemisphere from north of equator there are 90 latitudes and in the south of equator there are 90 latitudes so 90 plus 90 is equals to 180 and one equator is also latitude equator is also latitude so 180 plus 1 is equals to 181 so total number of latitudes are 181 and how are latitude then how are latitude lines 179 so the reason here is because these two poles north pole and south pole are not lines they are just end points 
so we are not counting them as lines so there uh, this is the reason that there are 179 latitude lines if there is a simple easy then that 181 minus 2 is equals to 179 so total number of latitudes nine are 179 and latitude is 181 now distance between two latitude is 111 km the northern half of earth is called as northern hemisphere and southern half of earth is called southern hemisphere so this is the equator which divides this earth into two equal halves in the north direction of equator it is northern hemisphere and in the south direction of equator is southern hemisphere they run in west to east direction the reason is because our earth also rotates from west to east so latitude also run from west to east direction latitude are measured in degrees angular distance of either side of poles from equator in 90 degree okay so there are 90 angular distance of either side of pole from equator is 90 degree a north pole which is in northern and which is in northern end point so north pole is marked as 90 degree north or simply n and south pole is marked as 90 degree south or simply s each degree now each latitude degree is divided into 60 minutes there are some main latitudes that divided earth into zones now there are some major latitudes which are tropic of cancer tropic of capricorn arctic circle antarctic circle and the equator which we have learned about so tropic of cancer is at 23 and a half degree north so the latitude which passes from 23 and a half degree north is called tropic of cancer river mahi crosses the tropic of cancer twice in india so here a question arises that which river crosses the tropic of cancer twice in india so the answer will be river mahi it tropic of cancer passes through 16 countries remember that tropic of cancer passes through 16 countries now there is another uh, another major latitude tropic of capricorn tropic of capricorn is situated at 23 and a half degree south so the major latitude which is at 23 and a half degree south is called the tropic of capricorn the river limpopo crosses it twice in africa so here also question arises that which cross which river crosses tropic of capricorn twice in africa so the answer will be river limpopo and now tropic of capricorn passes through 10 countries remember that tropic of cancer passes through 16 countries and tropic of capricorn passes through 10 countries now at 66 and a half degree north there is a major latitude called arctic circle and at 66 and a half degree south there is a major latitude called antarctic circle now here is a trick because some students are getting confused in arctic and antarctic circle so as you all know that antarctica is a continent which is situated at south of which is situated in south in the southern hemisphere so antarctic circle and uh, antarctica are relating with each other with each other so remember that antarctic circle is in south and arctic circle is in north now 90 degree north is north pole and 90 degree south is south pole so this is tropic of cancer it passes through north the continent north america africa and the southern part of asia equator passes through continent south america africa and asia tropic of capricorn also passes from america africa and in from australia also 
सो देर आर फ्यू पॉइंट्स दैट ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर इज ओनली द मेजर लैटीट्यूड विच पास फ्रॉम इंडिया नाउ वन मोर थिंग इज है विद यू ऑल दैट एफ्रीका इज ओनली द कॉन्टिनेंट एफ्रीका इज ओनली द कॉन्टिनेंट थ्रू विच थ्री ऑफ द लैटीट्यूड पासिस ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर ऑल्सो पास फ्रॉम एफ्रीका इक्वेटर ऑल्सो पास फ्रॉम एफ्रीका एंड ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैप्रिकॉन ऑल्सो पास फ्रॉम एफ्रीका लैटीट्यूड हेल्प्स आस टू फाइंड द लोकेशन एंड द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द प्लेस लैटीट्यूड डिवाइड अर्थ इन टू जोन्स ना लैटीट्यूड डिवाइड अर्थ इन टू हीट जोन्स एज latitude help us to find temperature of the place so latitude divides earth into heat zones now what are heat zones so equator and the region near to the earth receive the direct rays of the sun since earth is round sun rays become more and more slanting as we move away from the equator or go towards the pole now, on the basis of amount of heat received from the sun Earth is divided into three heat zones. So, Earth is divided into three heat zones: torrid zone, temperate zone, and frigid zone. So, as you can also see here, that Earth is divided into three three heat zones. This green colored area is torrid zone. This ये ब्राउन कलर एरिया इज टेम्परेड जोन एंड दिस ब्लू कलर एरिया इज फ्रिजिड जोन यू कैन ऑल्सो सी इन दिस पिक्चर ऑल्सो दैट दिस इज आर अर्थ एंड दिस इज सन सो द सन रेज आर कमिंग डायरेक्टली ऑन इक्वेटर एंड दिस एरिया बिटवीन ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर एंड ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैप्रिकॉन सो दिस दिस एरिया इज हैविंग डायरेक्ट रेज ऑफ सन so here more heat will be there so this area where more heat is there is called torrid zone and this zone lies from 23 and a half degree north tropic of cancer and 22 23 and a half degree south tropic of capricorn and now amongst the all heat zones torrid zone is the hottest zone amazon basin lies in this zone now the second heat zone is temperate zone this zone receives slanting rays of sun now you can see here that this region is having slanting rays on torrid zone there were direct rays now as we move towards the poles sun rays will be slanting so at this zone at temperate zone the our earth is receiving slanting rays of sun so this zone is not too hot and not too cold because of slanting rays of sun so climate here is moderate not too hot and not too cold northern india lies in this zone so nor no, northern india lies in lies in temperate zone and southern india lies in torrid zone so remember that that india is a country which lies in both the zone torrid zone as well as temperate zone now there are two temperate zone on earth northern temperate zone and southern temperate zone one so northern temperate zone lies between tropic of cancer to arctic circle as i told you that arctic circle and tropic of cancer are in north so tropic uh this is not temperate zone which is between which lies between tropic of cancer and tropic and arctic circle other is south southern temperate zone that lies between tropic of capricorn to antarctic circle means 23 and a half degree south to 66 and a half degree south now the third one is frigid zone or frigid zone this zone receives very slanting rays of the sun and it is the coldest zone on earth antarctica lies in the frigid zone only so now as i told you that as we move towards the poles we get slanting 
slanting rays of the sun so at this zone our earth receives very slanting rays means a less amount of heat the rays less amount of rays sun rays so at this as you all know that we will get less amount of heat so there will be more cool and there will be more cold so as there are very slanting rays of sun so it is the coldest zone on earth means torrid zone was the hottest zone on earth and frigid zone or frigid zone is the coldest zone on earth and antarctica lies in frigid zone only so now there are two frigid zone north northern frigid zone and southern frigid zone so northern frigid zone lies between an arctic circle to the north pole means arctic circle to the last end point of earth 66 and a half degree north to 90 degree north now south southern zone lies between antarctic circle antarctic circle to the south pole 66 and a half degree to 90 degree south so this is the southern southern frigid zone now there are many lines joining two poles okay so these so these lines are longitudes longitudes are the imaginary lines joining two poles and are called longitudes or meridians so as you can also see in this picture long latitudes are horizontal lines and longitudes are vertical lines these lines joins two poles and longitudes are 360 in number 180 in the east direction and 180 in west direction and each longitude is of equal length latitudes are not of equal length they are different their size decreases as we move towards the pole as you can also see uh, equator is the largest latitude one point is here that equator is the largest latitude on earth okay so longitude are of sem longitude longitude are semicircle distance between two longitude are not same on poles it is 0 km on poles and on equator it is 11 1111.32 km so the distance between two longitudes are not same but the distance between two latitudes are same it was 111 km but the distance of longitudes are not same 0 degree longitude is known as prime meridian this line passing through green which that is in london so there is a latitude the major latitude is prime meridian which passes through greenwich which is in london prime meridian is the time meridian means from prime meridian only all the countries are having time now prime meridian divide earth into two hemisphere western hemisphere and eastern hemisphere the east side of prime meridian is called eastern hemisphere and the west side of prime meridian is called western hemisphere 180 longitude is known as international date line now longitude decides time as well as date and latitude decided temperature and location of place so remember that longitudes longitudes decide time and date so 180 degree longitude is known as international date line this point is also important so please learn that longitude indicate the time and date of a place now longitude indicates the time and date of a place all the place located in the same meridian have known at the same time 
प्लेस लोकेटेड इन डिफरेंट मैरेडियंस मीन्स डिफरेंट लॉन्गिट्यूड हैव डिफरेंट टाइम टाइम डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू लॉन्गिट्यूड इज फोर मिनट्स एज यू ऑल नो दैट अर्थ टेक्स ट्वेंटी फोर आर टू कंप्लीट वन रोटेशन और टू कवर थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री लॉन्गिट्यूड सो ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू सिक्सटी डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री सिक्सटी इज इक्वल्स टू फोर मिनट सो द टाइम डिफरेंस बिटवीन जीरो टू फिफ्टीन डिग्री लॉन्गिट्यूड इज वन आर सो द कंट्रीज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इज डिवाइडेड इंटू ट्वेंटी फोर टाइम स्टोन जोन बिकॉज आर अर्थ ऑल्सो टेक ट्वेंटी फोर आर्स टू फॉर वन रोटेशन सो द कंट्रीज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड आर डिवाइडेड इंटू ट्वेंटी फोर टाइम जोन ऑफ वन आर ईच बिकॉज आर अर्थ टेक्स ट्वेंटी फोर आर्स टू कंप्लीट वन रोटेशन नाउ देर आर सम बिगर कंट्रीज सो देर दे आर हैविंग मोर देन वन more than one okay so countries like russia and usa have many time zones russia is having 11 time zones and usa are usa is having four time zones indian time is selected by 82 and a half degree east longitude that passes from alabad in nine city ist Indian Standard Time passes through the five states. Remember these five states because it can be asked in exam that name the five states from which IST Indian Standard Time passes. So they are Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Orissa, Andhra and Andhra Pradesh. Allahabad is situated in the east of Greenwich, so the time difference between them is. Five thir five hour and thirty five hours and thirty minutes. So our our India is having only one time zone, which is at eighty two and a half degree east in Allahabad. But now our in now our country needs two time zones. There is a requirement of two time zones for the eastern states. This is for the western states. Mainly, it's for western states. But now we are requiring a time for a time zone for our eastern states also. So there is a requirement for two time zones in India. Now, as this is our prime meridian, suppose if this is our prime meridian, so the east, as we go moves towards the east, the time will be. Plus, where the time will be in plus. Here the time will increase, and in the west side of prime meridian, time will be in minus. Time will decrease here. So remember that in west time always decrease, and in east always time increases. So this was all about globes and major longitudes and latitudes. Thanks for watching my video please like subscribe and share